One of the most common and frequently asked questions I get on this channel has to do with the date codes on MREs. People want to know where to find them and most importantly how to read them. If you have a single MRE, like this one here, you want to look on the bag for a number. Usually it's stamped into the bag. There can be other numbers, it can be letters. We're going to see a lot of different things, but you're basically just going to be concerned with this four number code right here. That's the date code, 0145 in this case. Now just to give you a quick explanation of what this means, the last three numbers of the four digit code stand for the day of the year that it was packaged, in this case 145th day. The first number is the last digit of the year that it was packaged. In this case, it was the 145th day of 2010, or May 25th, 2010. So, once you get used to that, it's easy enough. One variant that's worth mentioning is that usually they are stamped on, like I said, but sometimes they'll be printed on. This one right here is 7171, which means it was packaged on the 171st day of 2007. The main question people have and something I've always kind of wondered about was why they chose to just use the last number of the year. I, this one is from 2010, but if it just has the zero, how do you know it's not from 2000 or maybe even from 1990? That's where a little bit of detective work comes in. First off, they didn't actually start using date codes until 2003. So if you, for instance, find one of these brown bag MREs, these were around in the 1980s, right up through 1996 when they switched over to the tan bags. So these don't have date codes on them, and you really don't need it anyway because you know that this is going to be 20, 25, 30 years old. So if you're looking for an MRE to store, to keep on hand for an emergency, and most importantly to eat for any reason at all, you really don't want these brown bag ones. You want to avoid those. But even with the tan ones, you can still have a question. If you had a day code that started with a 7, you might wonder if your MRE is coming from 1997 or 2007. The easiest way to tell that is if it looks like this. When they switched to the tan bags, they actually looked pretty much like this right up through 2008. So if yours has a 7 on it, which this one just happens to have, you know this one has to be from 2007. In 2008, they switched to the new designs, the new bag designs, of which there's three of. I have two examples right here. There are three of them. Now, I always refer back to MREinfo.com. They have an entire page dedicated to date codes. And in fact, if you go to their home page, they actually have a handy little MRE date checker where you can put in the date code and the temperature it was stored at, and it'll show you exactly when it was packaged, and it'll give you an estimate on its remaining shelf life, if it has any. Of course, that all depends on how it was stored, and if you're buying these uh, on the secondary market, you don't really know. People can say they were stored in like 60 degrees, but for all you know, they might have been in a trunk of a car, um, 90 degree weather for a couple of months. So, so far, we know this one doesn't have a date code on it, but we looked at the date codes on the bags. If for some reason you can't find a date code, or you can't read the one on the bag, or if you have loose components, the other good thing is that almost everything inside of an MRE has its own date code. There's a drink mix right here. It has its own date code. Cocoa beverage powder. 363rd day of 2012. Wheat snack bread. And these dates can be stamped on, like the bags, or they can be printed. Wheat snack bread's from 2007. Cheese spread. You see the main courses, the sides, the breads, the spreads, the desserts. Just about everything in an MRE is going to have a date code. Now in this main entree, you can see the 2326, that's the number you're looking for. You can see how it can be a little complicated because there's actually a lot of numbers and letters and everything printed on some of these boxes and pouches. But that's the what you're looking for right there.
Not only that, but even the flameless ration heater, which is very much not edible. These even have date codes on them. And believe it or not, these actually have a shelf life too. They only last about five years. And then the performance goes down quite a bit. And you have accessory packs. Most of the little things in here, like the sugar and salt and gum, they're not going to have date codes on them, but the accessory pack itself will. And you just ignore the letters and you get the A287. Uh, I said most of the stuff doesn't have date codes, but here's a, one of the newer ones. Where they replaced the little bottles of Tabasco with a little pouch of it. And check this out. This even has a date code on it. So if you're buying an individual MRE, now we're looking at the genuine issue MREs, government property ones. But civilian MREs also generally will have date codes on them too. Especially the ones that were made by the government contractors that make the real ones. It's going to be a little bit harder to see, but this one right here is 0037. And it was packaged on the 37th day of 2010. And these ones that have the clear plastic bag, you can also get an idea just by looking at some of the components inside. You can really see some of the date codes there. Same with this one. Um, actually, this is one that doesn't have, just like the genuine MREs, sometimes the civilian ones will have the date code printed on it rather than stamped into it. So these both are 0037, which is that one is stamped and one is printed. If you have an individual MRE or any number of MRE components, you're going to be able to date them pretty easily. Now beyond the bag style, if you're really stumped and aren't sure of the decade because of the first number thing, you can always go to MREinfo.com and check their MRE menus. They have menus year by year. So if you see in 2010 that menu number 23 is a chicken with pasta and pesto sauce, and in 2000 it was a different menu, then you know you have a 2010 and not a 2000. It seems a little complicated, but it's just a matter of going to the site and checking out the menus. So, so far we've looked at single MREs, civilian and government, and we've also looked at individual components. These are all good ways to find out the dates of your MRE. But, if you buy MREs by the case, it's even easier. The cases will always be marked in genuine government issue MREs. And there can be some variety on these. What you're looking for is the date packaged lot number and the inspection test date. 1300 means that this one, this case was packed on the 300th day of 2011, or October 27th, 2011. There can be some variety on these. They'll usually have the date code and then the inspection date will be more traditional looking, October 2014. But sometimes they'll switch them around, sometimes they'll put the day on here in addition to the month. Uh, as long as you're familiar with what the date codes are, you shouldn't have any problem reading what's on here. The main thing I wanted to mention is that the inspection test date is always three years after the manufacturing date. So if you're buying some of these online on eBay or Amazon or something like that, or any, any anywhere, and if somebody tells you that this was manufactured in 2014 and they show you the date 1014, you just have to make sure that it's not the inspection date because it's three years after it was manufactured. That's, that's one way that people will try to sell MREs and pass them off as fresh when they're not really as fresh as they say. These are genuine MREs. And most of the civilian cases will also have date codes on them too. This one is a meal kit supply MRE case. And this one has a date code of 3018, meaning that it was packaged in January of 2013. Meal Kit Supply actually gives you a Julian date code conversion chart right on its cases, which is nice too. There's a lot of people who aren't in the military who are ordering a case of MREs will see the 3018 and say, what the hell is this? And this way there's a handy way to read it. 
the last three numbers are the day number. The first number is the year number. One for 2011, nine for 2019, you know. So hopefully this video answered most questions that anybody would have about the MRE date codes. If it still doesn't seem clear, as I always say, go to MREinfo.com. They can explain it a lot better than I do, and they know a lot more than I do about MREs. The final note, I mentioned that pretty much everything in an MRE has a date code on it. The only exceptions would be the hot beverage bag. After all, it is just a bag. There's not really any reason to know when this was manufactured. And the brown MRE spoon. Once again, it's not something you're going to eat. not something you really need to know how old it is. So other than those two things, it's pretty easy to find and translate, figure out the date codes.